Hello, my name is Rasmus and I'm starting this YouTube channel because my passion in life is cars and I would like to share my experience with you. And, and this is a, 2000, a BMW 2002 from 72. And it's not only going to be this car, but mostly because this is the primary build that I'm going to be doing now. I will also show you when I do repairs on other cars because I do a lot of repairs basic maintenance and other stuff on other cars so it will be a lot of mixed stuff but also primarily it will be this car because it, as you can see it needs a full restoration the engine needs a complete re completely rebuild and a lot of uh, fabrication bad rust work that someone else has been done that couldn't really bother to do it the correct way so i'm going to do all of these things and I will also show you that you can manage to do all this stuff without a fancy garage. You don't need the most expensive equipment and you do not need a 15,000 crowns uh, car lift. You can do it by yourself in your own garage. And I would like to inspire you to do the same as I do. So this is my YouTube channel and I hope you will enjoy it. Here is the car. Sadly, I didn't think of the idea of starting a YouTube channel before I started, but here's a picture of how it looked before, and here's now. And as you can see, I have not done nothing major. I've just taken the car apart. It was not so much to take off. It was, it had the engine. This is the original engine that came with the car, and this was in. But yeah, as you can see, it needs a lot of work and this is the front axle and that is the drive shaft and that is the rear axle and i've also built this uh, steel <laughs> construction so that i can work on the car without yeah, so without a lift just make the job more easy for me and uh, as you can see it has uh, extended rear fenders uh, these are the original Sanders body kit from, I believe, the late 70s when BMW went motor racing. But so um, the car has had some customization, but no one has worked on the car for the last 20 years. And I luckily enough had the opportunity to buy this car. And as I said, this was a, it was a 72. So someone has swapped out the rear end to, to get the square looking rear lights because this body kit only came for the yeah, square looking lights so originally it has the the round tail lights but it, i don't mind i really like the these type of tail lights and it looks more modern and cool and it reminds me of the turbo version but uh, it's not so much rust because someone has already done the major rust repair but some of these things needs to have a properly look over because it's not so not so nicely done always and as you can see on the fender over there it just looks like someone has just banned the steel plate over it and just welded it in and some black paint so no not so not so nice and also here inside the wheel well you can also see that this is probably fine it will do but I, I would really like it to look nice and as you can see I need to patch this up so not all the dirt comes in in the car and inside here it looks pretty basic someone has tried to paint the car red probably that was the original plan that's the last owner and here I have the new grill so that the grill will match the square tail lights because this grill is meant for a 75 I think so it's if if it were had would have to be in a 19 from 1975 this is the the grill that would have came with the car but now I have the the one that should have come with the round tail lights so it doesn't really look quite correct but it, I wanted to do that so I'm going to swap this out 
to the more modern ones. And also, if we look over here, I have had the amazing opportunity to buy this engine. Is a it's a BMW 2002 TII engine. So it's a fuel injection with the with the proper Kugel Fischer, and uh, as you can see, it has these plastic pipes. The later models did not have these. This was was only fitted to the first editions. So that's it. I think it's a very cool that uh, it doesn't have that the normal intake. So this will I will do an episode on how taking it apart, and I will do furthering episodes on how to restore it. I will basically do everything by myself. I will probably lend give the block to someone that can fix the cylinder walls so that it's yeah, nice and fresh for new cylinders. But otherwise I will do everything by myself. I'm thinking of putting a turbo in this, so, but I don't quite know how big and how much pressure I will be using. So if you guys got any tips, let me know. And here is the front axle and I will try to get some BC racing coilovers. I, they do not issue these for this type of model, but I will probably do some fabrication and take BC racing coilovers from like an e, E21 or something, or maybe an E30. And here's the rear axle, as you can see, it needs a quite a lot of work, but also I need to refabricate this so that I get the, the proper a proper disc brake and a proper caliper for it so I'll, and I'm going to swap out the diff for a limited slip diff I do think I have maybe found one we'll see about that but everything is going to be sandblasted and taken apart properly and painted and put back together and it will be looking amazing yeah so this was it for this episode and if you like what I'm doing here and maybe like the car or something else that you did like please subscribe and follow me if you would like to see this madness but trust me you will not get disappointed there will be a lot of time lapses and cool stuff we we're going to do here so please follow